on the entrance of an old mine shaft. Shivers up and down your spine, you feel a cold draft. But you push up further down the tunnel and some old stairs. You check to see if you have torches and you say your prayers. Several winding corners and you come to a ravine. There seems to be a wooden bridge that leads you to a gleam. You follow through this tunnel until you reach the end. You've never seen the likes of this, you're ready to defend. I can't see what is coming for me. It's crawling on the ground and it's very tiny. Its eyes are wide. It looks hungry. It's crawling on my legs and it starts to eat. You come across some rooms that are blocked with iron bars. Doors that lead to nothing and it really seems bizarre. Torches lead your way as if there's someone really there. You've never seen this block before. Should you really dare? You start to get your mining tools and have your second thoughts. You wouldn't want someone to think you're stealing and get caught. You wait around and see if someone ever would come by. Nobody ever comes and so it's now your time to try. I can't see what is coming for me. It's crawling on the ground and it's very tiny. Its eyes are wide. It looks hungry. It's crawling on my legs and it starts to eat. I can't see what is coming for me. It's crawling Hello, hello, audio test on Twitch. Hello, hello, audio. Yep, and on YouTube. Hello. Oh, yeah, of course. The delay. <sighs> Classic delay. It's gonna be a minute or so. Anyway, hello. How is it going? Mm, sorry, stretching. <sighs> Crawls on the ground and get you in the dark and eat you pound by pound. Hello. Hello, audio test on. Fantastic. Such a delay on that. Anyway. Alright. Minecraft. Uh, it is. That one? Yeah. Hello. Right. How is it going? Looking forward to a bit of volcano block. <sighs> I guess I'll do the intro. Hello and welcome back to Garen River vs. Volcano Block Part 3. I am still trapped here in hell, but at least I'm not alone anymore. I've got some friends. I've got Pisces, I think that is. Got uh, a representative, a representative of Mimic's. Not actually Mimic, but it's Mimic. Like he looks like Mimic. And uh, Kenji, who isn't actually Kenji. Oh, and and me, of course. Hello. Uh, hello, Raina B. Uh, I. I'm not amazing today. I have been sleeping really poorly. Oh, damn, that was a light. I've been sleeping really poorly the last um, week or so. I know that sounds not out of the ordinary for me, but it's been worse than usual lately. Um, and that's been ugh, unpleasant. And last night I went to bed at midnight Woke up again at 4am and couldn't get back to sleep. So I was up until about 10ish. And then went for another couple of hours lie down because I knew I was streaming today. So today feels so fractured that it feels like it's the middle of the night for me right now. Uh, but yeah, I've been looking forward to this. I really enjoy streaming this. So... This has kept me going through the day, so if I sound at all lethargic, I do apologise. I'll try to to perk up and uh, be animated and so on. I'm wearing one of my new t-shirts that's arrived. Because I lost my demonised one, God knows where, God knows how, but I did. 
Ah, but yes. So, a quick refresher in case you are new to this stream series. This is Volcano Block. It is a Skyblock mod pack for Minecraft in which you spawn in an endless sea of lava with a little bit of dirt and a little bit of stone. And from that, I have built all of this. Ooh. So I've, this is all about special crops. Um, last time I began work on the whole ancient cobblestone thing, which gets me materials, minerals and stuff, which I can use. Um, today, I want to see if I can set up an automated block pl placing and breaking system. I assume that is something that is possible because otherwise there's going to be a massive ball ache to, to do that because I have to place and break each one of these and it's like it's really slow to break because it's stone and I've only got stone tools. So let's have a look in the quest book. Uh, chapter 1 done. Chapter 2. I reckon it's these things. Rotary grinder, sawmill, rock core. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, Prodigy Tech. I have no knowledge of that mod pack. That sorry, that mod at all. They're basic pipes, that's a good sign. Alright, Prodigy Tech, it looks like that's where I'm headed, and I need to make a nether portal. Presumably I need to make a diamond pickaxe and get some of this obsidian. Isn't that right, Mimic? Yeah, that's right, Mimic. Sorry, I thought, oh, I don't need to put it on silent. I'm not going to get an email now. Go away. Sorry. Mute. So, also, uh, if you want to have a statue of your own, there is a, a section below the Twitch stream where I explain uh, sort of the how you go about getting your own statue. I want to minimise time sort of standing around waiting today, you see. Uh, so, if you're interested in having your own statue, I'll, I'll briefly explain it once and then just direct people to the bit at the, uh, below the Twitch stream. To get your own statue, uh, all you need to do is throw some bees at me. Any number of bees is fine. Um, and put in the message statue and then the username that you want the statue to be so it doesn't have to be yours like that's not well that was intended to be Kenji's one but he, he got the the name wrong so make sure you double check the name and Mimic doesn't actually have Minecraft but we put in Mimikyu and it is a Mimikyu skin so anything like that you know it can be it can be like Moose or Joel's or some other YouTuber you watch anything at all and uh, then you get to choose a material for the material box, but only these materials are applicable. Anything not in that box you cannot choose, I'm afraid. But yes, that is how it works. Could you look at the back of my skin? I want to see if it's visible. I don't know what you're looking for, but... Yeah, so this is a uh, uh, hay bale. Oh god, a bit sensitive. I don't remember what that is. I think that might be smooth stone. Same with that one, and mine is cobblestone, I think. Right, what am I doing? Oh yes, I've got the seeds over here. Haven't I? Okay. So, I need to make some sort of block breaker, automatic breaker, lead ingot, uh, it has to be lead ingots, iron plates, how do I make iron plates, I need a stamping machine, kamenite, copper, kamenite, kamenite brick, from kamenite blend in a kiln, oh, kamenite blend, okay, I may be able to do that, how do I get clay? <laughs> it's just a one thing after a bloody another, isn't it? <sighs> okay. That's not helpful. Right. Um <sighs> I 
are the hammers. It's an automatic hammer. I'm not sure if that's what I'm after. Right, how am I doing on materials? I have one iron. Aluminium, pink composite. Alright, I think I need to get a load of... Uh, a load of these. And I'm not carrying enough to actually replace them afterwards. Okay. So, it is, what, Tuesday today? What have you guys been up to over the weekend and the like? Uh, for me, the, the last week or so has just blended together. Uh, I did play D&D at the weekend, that was fun. The campaign's been going on for about nine months now. We're level five, it's really fun. Uh... Mm, yeah, I uh, played some games with my family because my birthday was recently and I wasn't able to see any of my family because of UK lockdown rules. Uh, so we, we played some games online, uh, some board games online, and that was nice. Um... But yeah, apart from that, not really done a lot lately. Okay. So now, Genshin Impact. Where's my crushing throne? Oh, it's over here. Uh, so, it's been a week. Oh no, I burn them and then crush them, right. Glad I didn't just chuck them straight into. Oh no, I I do burn them and then crush them. Yeah, burning. Uh, yeah, never mind. I'm just confusing myself. Keep pressing I for the inventory. I, as a general rule, don't do things when I can stay home and read and write fan fiction. <laughs> what kind of fan fiction? I keep pressing I. Why do I keep pressing I for the inventory? What what game has I as the inventory? I've been playing Outer Worlds. Is that right? Oh no, it's not. Um, no, I, I use the uh, thingy for this. This one. God, this is such a ball ache to do. Oh, a mod module has settled flimsy handle. What's wrong with my handle? Can't go up to a guy and say he's got a flimsy handle. It's incredibly rude. Anything else? No. Cool. Stick all of that in there. And take out the stuff that I can turn into other stuff. Copper. Silver. Aluminium. Gold. And iron. Beautiful. Okie dokie. Right. Five iron, th four gold, four silver, six copper, five diamonds, two emeralds. Not bad. Um, I'm wondering if it's worth making an iron pick. Alright, I should probably do some more quests because I barely did any last time. I only did these. Uh, chest builder. I need six iron for that. Rotary grinder. Oh, I need composite. How do I do this? Pink composite. So I throw that into water. And that's pink dye, mysterious dust, and sand. Uh, right, let's get some pink dye. Boom. Sand. Do I have sand? How does one get sand? I think I crushed this. Am I wrong? 
Yes. How do I get sand? I've had it before. I get it by crushing glass, right. And I get glass from... Yeah, okay, cool. I'm going to turn down my sensitivity. It seems really high. I've probably just been playing something with lower sensitivity and that's why I'm noticing it. Oh, me bloody hammer! Oh no. <laughs> that was that hammer. I thought it had gone all piddly. <sighs> Almost exclusively fix it fan fiction. I've been obsessed with this show called The Untamed for months and that show is in urgent need for fixes. I'm not familiar with what that is. I assume it's like writing it better. Uh, where is that's in there? Okay, so let's get 16. I'm going to get a full stack of this. So, how many can I crush at once? One, I missed. One, two, three, four. Boom. Oof. That did it. One, two, three, four. Right. Where are my furnishage? Stick all of those in there and let's get a load of sand, get a load of composite. Start doing stuff in some big batches to make it worth my time. Hmm. Uh, let's go and harvest all of these. I don't know if I'll need any of them anytime soon, but... Oh yeah, that's the... Oh, that's the inverse one, damn. Uh, flax seeds. And that's the ins unstable. Wow, I've got so little stuff. Yeah, I'm just going to leave them going, I think. Right, uh, what else then? Is it this one? Uh, where do I put the legal stuff? EU seeds in there. EULA seeds. Okay. Uh, hopefully some of this stuff is cooked now. Ah, oh, 14, 14, and 14. All right. I'll do for now to get me started. Oh. 64 exactly. Perfect. Is it? Yes. Give me 64 sand. All right, so. Sand. What was it? Sand, pink dye, and... Taking cannons and changing something to make it less sad. <laughs> yeah, I can understand the appeal of that. Right. Yeah, mysterious dust. So, grab that. I'm only going to get 22 out of this because of the lack of pink dye. Right, I'll put the leaves in there as well. Uh, oh, and, oh wait, the EULA seeds go in here. So, this I throw in water, and it uses the water. So, theoretically, if I chuck this in here, it should just, yeah, Wait for that to finish, I guess. Take your time. Cool. And then this is burned. Where's my... There's my burning hole. If you have a burning hole, don't throw pink things into it. See a doctor. Gotcha. Personally, I like shows... Hey, Sam that have really gut-wrenching sad parts and or deaths, it gives them some spice. What the hell's wrong with you, Sam? Uh, 
<laughs> Everyone's opinion is valid. What you're into is what you're into. I'm just making a joke. Hey, Cookie. No problem at all. Pink composite block. Fantastic. I also need crystal grinding wheel. Oh, my God. How many crystals? I need more crystals. How do I get crystals? Crystal block. How do I get crystal block? Mysterious mixture. Oh, my God. I need deck cord. I don't think I have any deck cord. Do I have any? Oh, that's water. Do I have any deck cord? I don't think I do. I think I used it all. Oh, no, I do. I have some deck cord. Uh, but I don't have any s dust. Chuck that in there. Right. Uh, brilliant. Brilliant! I'm holding my shears. No, but they are about to break. Okay. And plant some more. Mm. Some people do prefer small cups of coffee. Isn't that exclusively how espressos are uh, served? You know, you don't get large cups of espresso. If a show was all sunshine and rainbows, there's no point to it. It has to have some sort of conflict or low points to make the high points stand out. <laughs> Debatable. You can get some shows that are just really fun, but, like, there's a difference between a low point and a gut-wrenching death. Hmm. You know, speaking as someone in hell... Yeah, I'm getting deck cord from this. Good. Keep growing! I think the reason you have to have a small espresso is they're too strong. I don't know, I'm not a coffee drinker, so I, I'm speculating. Is there a difference? <sighs> I'd say there is definitely a difference between low points and gut-wrenching tragedy. But hey, maybe I'm just weird. Oh, yes, sign about remembering to donate blood. Five uh, crystal blocks. How do I... Do I cook these? I do. There isn't really any consequence. Uh, right. Uh, what am I doing now? Oh, sign. Right. I have wood now. Oh, no, I can't make a sign yet because I have no actual planks. To get planks... Wait until it cycles around to something I can actually bloody make. Screw that, I'll just go the other way. To get planks, I need to... Um, use a grinder. Can I use... yeah, a heat sawmill to get planks. More strength, more good. <laughs> Right. Where's my book? There's my book. Wait, did I say? Uh, yeah. Right. So the heat sawmill is after the rotary grinder. Glass, glass, and crystal block. Plenty of crystals. One, two, th one, two, three. And now one, two, three. 
Rotary Grinder. Crushes things, thanks. Nothing but shreds. Oh, I recently watched Good Omens. Remember that you can use F3 plus H to pull up the durability? Well, it just says the durability on them. It says like 42, 66, 78, and 12. Uh, right, rotary grinder, done. And I get sugar cubes. Uh, heat sawmill. Muscle bread and grit vase. A cutter, how do I get a cutter? Flint. Right, I need three of those, which means I need six flint, which I have. For once. Like so. Heat sawmill. Done. Muscle bread and grit vase. Well, I'm just going to eat one of these. And eat one of these. Ooh, eat part of that. Interesting. I did like Good Omens. I can't say I loved it. It was a bit weird. It fell apart a bit towards the end. Uh, basically the only good part in my eyes were um, David Tennant and is it Martin Sheen? They were fantastic. Hey Mimic, hey Collinium, hey Teddy. Uh, right, consider that stuff in there for now. What am I doing next? Straw golems are friendly little dudes who will help you harvest your crops. These little buggers can get into a lot of trouble. Fencing them in. Ah, that's an interesting way. A pumpkin on top of a hair block. Well, that might be a problem because I've got green ring. I'm going to have to fence in crap. I want to. How can I do that? Do I need a uh, stick for. I might need stick for. Um, for fence. So I better make sawmill. Right, I suppose I'd better read book on whatever crap is. What's grit vase? I don't know what I expected. Right, prodigy book, Hearthwell book. Hang on. Actually, that was the other thing I was going to see if I could make. Um, I was trying to remember what that was bloody called. No, clipboard is not a thing in this pack. Damn. Okay. Right. Hot air. What just happened? Hot air is the source, the power source of nearly all machines in the mod. All right, let's go back. Introduction, getting started. You'll need to make ceramic in an explosion furnace. Ooh. Yeah, I definitely have gunpowder. Explosion furnace is the first machine you make using an explosive reaction. It can be used to turn iron and clay into ceramic. Okay. I, I think ceramic is the alternate crafting material to the pink composite. Oh, uh, health boost that ran out. Uh, hey, Ace Wolf. I didn't know that was a uh, a thing that actually caused pain. Okay, and explosion mechanics. Yeah, that's fine. Hot air. Rotary grinder. Works like a lot of well-known machines. It crushes things. It can crush an ore into dust. A variety of other uses. Okay, so that is the version of the macerator or grinder or whatever. Heat sawmill can cut wood more efficiently than hands can. Logs into planks, planks into sticks. Brilliant. Alright, that's all I need for now. So I'm guessing, because I got a machine, didn't I? Constant hot air when above lava. 
So I reckon I need one of these. Hmm. Yeah, I reckon I need to put it there. Which means I need... I miss him for explaining things to you. <laughs> yeah, I gotta make do on my own. Impulus. Right. So if I'm correct, I can place this down here. Ooh. 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 No. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that was. All right. So. And now I put that there. Yes. Okay. Now I'm curious. What if I put that there? 30 degrees, apparently. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's so cold here. God, it's only 30 degrees. Jeez, ah, oh, terrible. All right, now I can get some planks. That's water. I might need to turn my sensitivity down a bit more. Ooh, output air temperature is a bit lower. Yay! Ugh. Sorry, just twiddling with the microphone. Right, I now have wooden planks. Fantastic. And they said it would be a bad idea to build a fortress out of wood in the nether. <laughs> Uh, see? Fireproof. I have made the first fireproof wooden house. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Uh, it does have an output temperature, however it is a bit lower. This needs uh, 80 in order to operate. So I'm going to need to make a second thingy. Be like Joel and build it out of crafting tables. <laughs> oh, nice one. Hey, Violet. Okay, but I can make some signs now. First of all, can I just craft these into... St oh, of course not. That would be too fucking easy, wouldn't it? Who would make sticks like that, really? Come on. Ugh, oh, don't be nuts. No, you can only make sticks from grass, obviously. Who doesn't make a stick out of grass? Pfft. Noobs, that's who. What are you sawdust for? Enriched fuel, particle board, particle board. That's it, okay. I mean, fire isn't actually spreading here. That is interesting to note. Let's stick that in there. Don't give me that look. Hungry. Um, I think I need to make another magmatic then. Aero heater. Magma cream? Oh yeah, I fish for that. I think I even got some. Oh no, I think I used it to make that one actually. Right. What is next in my magic book of magic? Oh yes, I was going to look up the grit vase. Mm, nope. Grit, 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 grit. Nope. Grit, 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 grit. Nope. Grit, 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 grit. Breaking. Grit vase. Breaking trees are essential. Are special leafless trees that will break blocks placed around them. That's how you automate it in this. 
To grow a breaking tree, use mysterious fertilizer on a grit vase. Okay. That is unusual. Um, I don't really know. Ooh, I don't really know what I'm doing with this. But. Oh no! That's a problem! Oh no! <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> Okie dokie. So, be careful, Garen. The bigger the tree get, finish reading book. Bigger the maximum reach of five blocks and will emit particles when breaking a block. They do not use any energy, but they can neither be stopped at any time. A tray may be used as a filter to choose which blocks it will break. Grit fasteners that hold breaking trees will drop branches. Right, I should probably put these torches back down. That was a breaking tree. It began to break things. Uh, grit fasteners that hold breaking trees will drop branches when broken. These are dense branches filled with life. So they're an important ingredient when crafting core graphs, of course. Core graphs. Lose that energy over time. It's not possible to stop them. Not even by stopping the game. Interesting. Tile.hwell.branch.name Alright, cool. Um... Well, I placed a tree down, it started breaking things that I didn't want it to break, so I removed it again. Oh my god, I thought that was a ghost, it's Mimic, fucking hell. <sighs> right. It does an area of up to five blocks. I'm presumably going to need some sort of uh, collector. So an area of up to five blocks. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Do I put the grit vase down there? That sounds like a really bad idea, doesn't it? No, I have a plan. I have a plan. I know what I'm doing. And now I jump into the lava. No. Um, I use my bucket. Yes, that was the plan. Bucket that I always carry with me. And now I put the grit vase in there. And then I put that on there. And it starts breaking it. I've just noticed the problem with my plan. I reckon it outputs it out the fucking bottom of the grit vase. Oh, that's just going to keep fucking hissing forever now. That is annoying. And for the record, that wasn't in the book. It doesn't mention where it outputs it. All right, let's let's run a little test, shall we? I reckon that it outputs it at the bottom. It does. Okay. Next question is, how do I automate that? I don't want it just dropping it. How do I pick stuff up? A hopper, Garen, is the obvious answer. A hopper is a very good answer, actually. Oh, holy shit. What the hell are these? 
Oh, yeah. That was the ancient cobblestone. That just fucking hopped its way around the lava until it surfaced somewhere else. <laughs> okay. Uh, I saw about pipes. Basic pipe. That is plank and stone. Let's see if plugging those in the bottom fixes it. Uh, plank and stern. So make me basic pipe. Bit pipe, pipe. Let's make some pipe. Lovely basic pipe. Alright, also while I'm here, I'm going to make a chest that looks nice. Because I can. Fucking suck it. Alright, so if I put that there. And then I put that there, and then I put that there. I might need to, like... What mod is this from? How does it work? I don't know any of these mods. Basic pipes. Fine, I'm gonna make some more basic freaking pipes. There, now I've made the pipes. Reward me. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you. Mm, that doesn't help though, does it? Okay. Doesn't output into pipes. Looks like the hopper is the only answer. Okay. Come with me. That's water, Garen. I'm aware it's water, Garen. I can see that. Don't argue with me. Right. I don't have enough. I do have enough. Just. Why do you hate me, hell? What did I do in life? Well, I know what I did. I know exactly what I did in life that got me here. Not the point. Chess. Oh, it's stone. <laughs> Never mind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Hell. I didn't mean to take it out on you. I thought you were being mean. You were being kind. So this is always the way, isn't it? Just when you think someone is beating the crap out of you because they hate you, it's actually because they want you to get better. They want you to recover from the bruises that they're giving you. I think I'm just going to stop talking now because this is getting weird. Right, if I put... Oh, I'll use my bloody chest in a bloody freaking chest and piece of bloody... <sighs> Water, Garrett. <laughs> right, if I put that there... And I put that there. Show me... Automation. Yeah, that didn't work. Show me automation. Success. I'm pleased with that. Completely new mods to me, and I'm working it out on my own. Okay. 
So, what I'm going to have to do is work out how to use pipes. Because I don't know how to use pipes. I've never even heard of Inspirations as a mod. Can I pipe stuff? I assume it's just for stuff with an automatic output. I assume that's how it works. So I may even be able to output from this. If I put you there, and I put one of you there... Holy crap, it's even designed to look like a freaking thing. Why do you not go into a chest? Why do you hate me, pipe? Oh, don't know how to make this work. There? I don't feel like it's going to go in there. Show me automation. No, it's trying to it's trying to go somewhere but it doesn't have anywhere to go. I don't need to ask for help. I have like 10 years of experience with Minecraft at this point. I can work this out. First I do need to replant these seeds. I can work this out. <sighs> Stupid fucking useless piece of crap pipe. Right, maybe I have to place the thing against the pipe rather than placing the pipe against the thing. I'm guessing I'm... I'm guessing this won't work, but... Yep, that didn't work. Uh, I assume it's still just going to go in there and hop about. Yeah, okay. So it's still trying to find a way out. Maybe it's a liquid pipe. There's pipe. No, it's an everything pipe because it's an extractor pipe. Well, that can't actually be made. This is the only... Th what, what's, what else is in the Inspirations mod? Collector? I mean, it's got a, like, pipe-shaped hole in it. But surely it would say, hey, by the way, you need a collector. I'm just going to ignore you, Cookie. How do I make this then? Fishing rod, redstone, and stone. How do I make a fishing rod? Mm, string and sticks. Alright, well, I can put some sticks in here. Alright, let's try it here as well. Sorry, yeah, at the back. The thing is, I don't know how to get it into stuff. Like, go in. Go into the box. It doesn't connect. It's like bloody Ender IO pipes. They just don't. They just flatly refuse to connect to each other. It's very frustrating, but at least I know why they do it in that. I can make a thingy. Let's put half of them in there. So I'm guessing this is going to make sticks. Yeah. 
Okay. And I should have string. Yep. Uh, what else do I need? Cobblestone and redstone. Alright. Three of those. Two of those to get one of those. One of those there. One of those there. And then... I'm one cobblestone short. So much shit in my inventory. Collector. Alright. How does this work then? Does this automatically connect? If I put that there? I don't know what this is doing. I'm guessing the collector is like a direct connection hopper or something. So it's like an inventory that acts as a buffer. Is there any more information about this bloody crap mod? No. Okay. I have tried everything that I feel I logically should do. Oh, hang on. Oh, bloody hell. Sorry, that made me jump. Okay. I feel I've tried everything I logically can. Can someone look up the inspirations mod, please, while I'm making another pickaxe? And tell me what I'm doing wrong. I'll also clean up my inventory a bit because it is a mesh. That's the wrong kind of cobblestone, Garen. Shush. That's the wood. Shush, Garen. You're mocking me and I don't appreciate it. I'm trying my best. I do have 10 years of Minecraft experience and do you know what happens? Right, here is a story from when I had the plumber around who was trying to diagnose the problem with my boiler. So he took the boiler apart. He had a look at the pieces. He was like, right. This piece seems to be working correctly. This piece seems to be a bit off. Like fiddle, fiddle, fiddle. Okay, this piece should now be working correctly. Puts the machine back together, tries it. It's still broken. All right, well, I'll try this then. So he takes it apart, does it blah, 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 puts it back together, still broken. He has now, it's not that he has exhausted all of his knowledge. He has just reached the, the limit of his capabilities as the problem with the machine obviously exceeds what is um, ascertainable in person. At which point he then called the boiler support line, uh, 0800, uh, help my boiler's fucking broken, can you help me please? And they told him, you're going to have to do this and this and this, and it could be this or this or this, and he tried those things, and it turned out it was none of them, I just need a new boiler. But, the point is, it is not a sign of weakness to ask for help. That is the, the lesson I am teaching you all today. I hope you all appreciate this. It is a lesson that more people could stand to learn in life. Asking for help doesn't make you weak. It doesn't mean you don't have 10 years of Minecraft experience. It doesn't mean you're not a genius Minecraft genius. But it means that when you're working with a mod that appears not to be following the same rules as every other bloody mod with a pipe that doesn't seem to connect to bloody anything, you might need a little tiny bit of help as to what um, is going on. So. If if you could if you could I'd I'd really appreciate it if you could just just look up the inspirations mod and they're weird 
pipes that don't connect to bloody anything and tell me how I can connect them to bloody anything. How they output, preferably. Because I'm guessing the reason stuff isn't going in is because it needs to have an output. It's a common thing in pipes, you know, they won't just sit in the pipe when they've got nowhere to go. So, I need... Oh no! I lost a load of my nostalgia things because they got fucking burned by this knob! You're a piece of shit, Grit Vase. Can someone please look it up? Has anyone looked it up? Anyone? I'm gonna have to look it up myself. Oh, I keep trying to come up with a funny line about how doing everything yourself is superior, but I can't think of anything. Look it up, what? <laughs> Cookie, if you're trolling me. <laughs> oh, you weren't here for that. No, you, yeah, you weren't here for that, were you? I'm going to look it up myself. <laughs> I just... <laughs> right. Inspirations mod. <sighs> Interactive bookcases, climbable ropes, new types of redstone inputs, blah blah blah. Tell me about the pipe, you knob. Tools? Automation. Utility module. Here we are. Collector? Pull item from worlds and inventory similar to a hopper. Unlike the hopper and similar to a dropper, it can be placed in all six directions and requires a redstone pulse to activate. Okay. So they pick stuff up. Mm, pipe, here we are. Right. Placing a trap no pipe. Cheaper and more efficient version of hoppers that can be placed in all six directions and push items into inventories. Unlike hoppers, they cannot extract them from other inventories or the world, so they require a hopper to start the chain. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Doesn't tell me how to get it into a bloody Right. In the picture, that just bloody connects to the fucking side of it. That just connects to the side of it right there. Put that there. Put that. Put put that. Okay. Right. I think maybe... Mm. If I just put this here... Okay. Right. I think we're getting somewhere now. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting somewhere now. Right. So... The way this works is you have to work backwards. So you attach something there. Fucking work! I can't see the underside of the bloody block, you tosser! Why do you not work like every other mod in the bloody game does? Can't believe I'm going to do this. I'm going to watch somebody else's video to work out how to get the pipes to work. Could be the mod pack screwing with me. Entirely possible. It's a very screwy mod pack.
Get to the pipes, please. Ten minute video, I just want to learn about the pipes. Apparently I'm feeling salty today. Why aren't you like everything else? Why you create No, don't put that as like as if like that's a quote or something. Show me the pipe, would you? You're standing next to the pipe. Let's try this shit, shall we? I put that there. I put that there. Now, show me magic. Show me magic, please. Show me magic. Okay, now we have magic, right. getting somewhere. So now I remove that and I place that there, that there. It's an awkward system basically. What it's saying is <clears throat> I'm guessing if I put this here and I put one there and one there Because it doesn't do things properly. I can only seem to get it to freaking connect if it is a direct connection with nothing in between. I... Uh... Right, let's try moving it further away. Look, it's now over here. Now I put one on there, and hey look, it's connecting. Now if I just put one there, no, of course that doesn't connect to anything. Why the hell would it? That would be insanity. So this is the problem, you see. It's... This is an annoying mod. This is a bad mod. You've failed, Inspirations. You've failed at making a simple pipe system. If, you was, if it was going to be a simple bloody pipe system, you just have it as a simple bloody pipe system, so that if you place a block in a freaking thing, it connects to the other connected bloody pipes until I tell it not to, like every other bloody pipe system in the bloody world. But no, you have to be different and weird and special, don't you? And you refuse to connect to the things that are standing right bloody next to you. Look, connect to shitting pipe, please. Oh my god. What do you mean, just put the hopper last? <sighs> I can't... If the hopper is one higher up, it doesn't catch the items, because it drops the items... It, it doesn't drop the items out the bottom of the block, it spawns them in the block below. So, there is a hole... Actually, can, I wonder... No, of course I can't. It's got to be... It's got to be connected to a hopper, we know this, that's a rule. Right. So, it has to start with a hopper. So if I just put that in there, it has to start with the hopper. Where the hell are these things going? Hi Billy. This is a stupid pipe system. Look. 
yeah, the tree thing can go up even higher, but I don't see how that solves the problem. Are there any other kinds of pipes? No, there aren't. Um, tube? Bees! Bees! Thank you, Ace Wolf. What would you like your statue made of? There is stone, cobblestone, dirt, oak wood, grass block, stone brick, glass, oak leaves, crafting table, and hay bale. If you let me know which one you want your statue made of, I will make you a statue and put it right here. Stone brick. That works for me. Uh, do I have extra stone brick? I should. I do. And my statue hammer. Right. Uh, I am going to need to tab out to get the name. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to tab out to get the name. Try placing the chest pipe, the chest first pipes from chest away towards hopper and place hopper last. Possibly, but I don't think that'll connect because it didn't output before when I did that. Uh, recent events. Okay. All right. It is Ice Wolf eight two two. There we are. So first of all, rotate him, and then um, let's have one leg up, touching your toe, the other arm out for balance, sculpt. So majestic, such an, I don't think I can do that. Of course I can, yes. Ow. Ironically, that unbalances me. Ugh. I have longer legs than I do arms. Ugh. Hey, Jalen. I mean, I can't lift my leg really high. I used to be able to. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, no, I can't anymore. <laughs> oh, like, I can, like, lift it high. I just can't hold it high. Straight. <sighs> anyway, sorry about that. Right. Why is there a YouTube button? That's a good question. <laughs> I don't know, I can't make YouTube. Frankly, who can? Nope, tube isn't a thing. Duct. <sighs> no, okay. What about the other pipe, you know, the embers one? Lead, cam caminite, okay. I might be able to do that. I'm stressed, JLN, because this pipe is shit. So far, this pipe is the most infuriating bloody thing that's happened in hell. And that includes the damnation. Right. Merch plug. Okay, yeah, I'll do a nice, calming merch plug. Are you looking to lift your leg up high? Look good while doing so by wearing a demonized t-shirt. Available in a variety of colors. I went for green because of Bulbasaur, but you can get it in blue and maroon and black. I know uh, some a uh, couple of people who have it in black. Um, you can have it in a variety of colours. You can have it in on a hoodie. You can have it on a classic T-shirt or a, I think you can get a. I don't think you can get a V-neck for it because I prefer V-necks, but I don't think they're available. But you can get it on 
a variety of different kinds of t-shirts. You can get it for your, your children. You can have your children wearing demonized t-shirts. I'm sure they'd be the, the talk of school, as in, please don't bring your child to school wearing a demonized t-shirt. Um, you can get demonized on a notepad. You can get stickers. You can get uh, so many different things. You, can, uh, you, I think you can actually get it on a, a bag, like a tote bag, or you can get it on a drawstring bag. There are so many things you can do with demon eyes. Stare into them. Stare into the demon eyes. Because they're staring into you. There you go. Merch plug. Right. <laughs> All right. I'm inclined to say fuck the pipes for now. Oh yeah, there's homeschooling. Well, actually, in, in the UK, I think most schools are still open. Okay. I need a block placer. Because it's all well and good having... a thing... How do I train it again? I put the book away. That's the wrong side. This side. This one. A tray maybe uses a filter. Small item tray that holds up to nine items serves as a whitelist filter to gravity and settler blocks. Okay, how do I make that? Specifically mysterious wood planks. How do I get mysterious wood planks? From mysterious wood. Specifically, how do I get mysterious wood? I don't know. There's no chance I just like right click on there, is there? No, of course not. Um Mysterious fertilizer on a sapling. Do I have any saplings? I do. I don't know my own freaking sorting system here, by the way. Probably because there's no freaking space for it to grow. I'm okay. I'm alright. I'm just stressed. Really, I'm I'm fine. <sighs> tired and angry. Okay, good. Acorns, whatever the hell acorns are for. 
What are acorns for? Okay. Thanks for the info. What are they for? Primordium? Okay. Sure, yeah. Of course. Uh, right, um, now what? I need to make some more mysterious fertilizer. How do I make mysterious fertilizer? Dust and stone. Oh, that's easy enough. Do I have any more? I do. I've got plenty. So let's make a fluxton. That's an imperial fluxton, not a metric one. Fuck it, just make tons. And it's an ugly looking tree. I think you might plant them. Nope, you do not plant them. That would be sensible. Dried anyway. Ground acorn meal in a cloth squeeze bag or for making primordium? Primordial ooze. Mm, what did I need this for? Oh, yes. I do like how this thing's completely like powered. I don't need to worry about powering this thing at all. <sighs> right, let's clean up my inventory a tad. That, 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 them. All of them. Actually, I do need those. I'm putting them in the wrong bloody box. Okay. I'm okay. I'm fine. Stop giving me that look. Alright, I'm going to take the heavy nuggets and the geodes. Right, geodes go on there, and I don't have my hammer anymore because I put it away. Because I thought, oh, I'm not going to need this anytime soon. Hey, Luca. There's no way to, like, do this quickly. I have to just click one through a single freaking geode. Mine colonies is good if you can automate stuff. But the one I was playing, Ancient Towncraft, you, you just have no automation at all. Okay, good. Right. Why did I put those in the crafting table? Because it's brown and I thought it was a chest. <laughs> There we go. Oh, delivery men are terrible. I wonder whether this pack has any option to get milk. Let's find out. Yes! Through the chemical compiler. Of course. Why would it not be? Okay, right. Let's 
dump off this shit. I don't need it. I don't need the hammer right now unless anyone else wants a statue. I don't know where I'm actually going to put the next statue. No, I don't know where I'm going to put the next statue. Do you know? Of course he knows. He knows everything. <sighs> right. Um... Oh yes, I was making the mysterious wood to get a tray so that I could stop it from breaking ordinary cobblestone. Okay, right. How, do, how does one use a tray? What? Not what I wanted to do at all. Hello, Tojizomi. Actually, I can make that sign now, can't I? I don't know how many you get from it in this version, so I'm just going to make several signs. You get three from it, good. Okay. Nine signs. Right. Thanks for the reminder. You're a good friend. <sighs> Not sure there's anywhere I can really put a sign here. Can't put it there because it's a half block on that side. Just so that I know who they are, really. Um. Ah, now I don't need to do this, it's fine. Right, I'm going to get some food. What have I not eaten in here? Nothing! So I can just gorge myself on baked potatoes. Right, anyway. I'm gonna get rid of these again. What will be the purpose of this when it's done? What, the, uh, the, the tree? It's an automated block breaker. The way it works is I place something And it breaks it, chucks it out the bottom, and into there. And it said in the book, it said in the other book, a tray may be used as a filter to choose which blocks the breaking tree will break aim for. I'm wondering if I just have to place it on there. So, let's see, if I take this one, so I say only break that. It should only break that. I think if I place it next to the hopper, that'll only output that. I need it to be on this thing itself. Okay, that's just how it works. You just place it on the, the thing it's connected to. Fine, that, that's 
fine, whatever. It works. Now I can just set up my bloody automated, bloody stupid, bloody system. The problem is I can't automate it properly because I have nowhere to place the blocks. So I'm going to have to come up here and manually place them around this thing. Is there a way to automatically place blocks? Fuck's an observer. Dropper? No. Dispenser? No. I don't know any way to place blocks automatically. I assume there's no way in vanilla. Oh, wow. Well. No, it updates blocks, okay. Oh, it, it no, it detects when blocks are updated. Periodic diagram. Wow. Mm. Dirty idle. Because, you see, this would be a really cool system if I didn't have to place all the blocks myself. If I have to place the blocks, then it, it makes it really inefficient. Would it be an option to have a cobble farm, a cobblestone farm next to it? Maybe. That's an interesting concept. I feel like it really wouldn't be the most efficient way to do it. But conceivably, yes, that could work. I don't really remember how to how to set up a cobblestone farm. I'm never really good at it. I always use the cheaty ones. All right, let's give it a go. Also, I still don't. Oh no, I have iron now. I can make a bucket. Okay. Right. Lava in the middle, water around it to make an omnidirectional farm. So what, I can do four at once? There's got to be a better way. There's got to be some sort of placer. There has to be. Yeah, water has to flow one down. There's got to be some sort of placer. Let me have a look in the book. Gravity block. Along with your straw golems. What mod's this from? Hearthwell? What the hell? Filtering. Key mechanics. The, the water does need to flow one down because otherwise when the cobblestone is removed it will flow into where the cobblestone was. seems to be so much in this mod. Separating? Bloody hell. <sighs> Gravity block. Gravity blocks pull item blocks towards them. A tray may be used to white or blacklist things. That's cool. So that's like a vacuum hopper. Uh, 
anti-gravity block. Okay. Aha. Setter. A machine that will try to place blocks that are thrown into its affected range. Alright. Enough energy, that worries me. Holy crap! Mystic iron ore? Are you shitting me? There's got to be something. Ugh. Ugh. I thought that was a person again. Cactus is along the road. Heat block. Let me have a look on Google very quickly. Just for ideas. Fuck is that noise? Yeah, the, the filtered... <sighs> yeah, I suppose it's just, it's going to be very slow. Because it means I will have very limited... The problem is, I stop making rumbly noises. It's very disturbing to hear rumbly noises in hell. Um, yeah, the problem with going that route is that uh, going going the uh, the cobble gen route is uh, it is is I'm not going to be able to have many of them because even if I do manage to organise it so that I've got like eight around it, it's still going to take. Uh, time for the nostalgia well to turn them into ancient cobblestone which then get broken so it's going to be doing like a maximum of eight or something at a time whereas I'd like to be able to flood the area with them but I can't do that if I can't place them the point of this is because I need to place cobblestone around a, a well a nostalgia well or whatever it's called to get ancient cobblestone, which I get all of my materials from. So I'm going to need a lot of these things. It will be 12 at a time. That's not many. That's really, really not many. Considering how many of these I need and how long it may take for it, for them to, to activate, I suppose it is, if it's the best I can do, I'm going to have to go with it and I can replace it later. <sighs> All right, well, how do I do this then? What's it going to be? What's How much space do I need? <sighs> All right, I'm, I'm just going to, I'll be right back. I'm going to have a think, one moment.
Uh. Right. So, let's run some simulations. I'm going to need cobblestone, I'm going to need that, and I'm going to need that. Right. I went to the toilet. If you must know, I went to the toilet. I did. I was trying not to, to say that, but that's where I went. It wasn't for a thing. I, w I needed to go to the toilet. Thank you very much, Ace. Right. So, if I have... So this is going to have to be a couple of blocks up because of the drop into the dropper. You know, the 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 hopper is going to be on the floor, then there's going to be a space, and then there's going to be the grit. So that's that's the, the level of the grit, which means the actual gen needs to be at that level. So if I want to make this neat and tidy, I want to bury it all and have stairs around it. So how much space do I need? I'm going to have to set up a test generator, which means I need to go get a bucket. for lava. Okay. So, that's the level I'm, I'm working at. Put that there to stop anything from spawning on it. Okay. How does this work? If I have a floor there to work on, if I have an isolated floor there to work on, how do I do this then? I have, what, one thing of lava in the middle, and the lava needs to flow outwards. And I have Hey Mimic, I'm setting up simultaneous lava generators, uh, cobblestone generators. I have this here. So I have That like that. Is that correct? And then that gets broken. Okay, so I can have a four-way lava generator in the space of a three by three. If they share water, I can crisscross it around. They're also going to have to share lava. Like I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a little bit inefficient on lava, but I feel like I have enough lava to play with. Okay, so how big does this need to be to account for it? One, two, three. Okay, four. Are we all on the same page? Am I am I correct? Have I made any obvious mistakes? Let's see. So it needs to be too higher and I need to be able to climb up to it so that the level of the tree God, not being able to use the pipes is bloody annoying, isn't it? That would be... They'd be really useful right now. Uh, 
All right, I'm gonna try with the pipes again because I I need those pipes to bloody work in order to make this much much easier. Because <sighs> otherwise I'm gonna have to do some weird trickery with accessing the uh, the chest with the stuff in it. I'd rather have it pipe out. So, um, if we have, oh, I need another chest. I didn't need another chest, that's supposed to be a hopper. Uh, which height is it? That's the height of the thing. Ah, oh, fuck, it doesn't matter. It's just there. Okay, so that connects to the bottom. system. See, I should be able to... Those two should connect. Why do they not connect? Seems to be virtually no information about this fucking pipe. Okay, maybe this is how I do it. Yes. Okay. Stupid bloody system. The pipes should connect to each other when you place them right next to each other. It's fine. It's working now. It's still an awkward system because you have to build it backwards. You cannot place the output before you place... You, you, sorry, you cannot place the input before you place the output. Otherwise, it just... it will not work. And that is stupid. Okay, how am I doing this then? Thanks for watching, Mimic. Let's get rid of this water. Those are the real hell. All right.
right. What is the range of the nostalgia thing? Doesn't have it in the book. Okay, it doesn't have a range either. So I have to do some tests. I've got four of them still, that's not too bad. So, let's work inward, shall we? This need to be three wide. No. Maybe that's probably fine. Right. So that's the level I need to be at. So if I work my way up there and then build whatever needs building. So that's the height of the generator itself, isn't it? So it's even higher than this, bloody hell. <sighs> right, I'm going to need to expand the water. Just have this like going up here. Because I want it to look good. Oh, hell. Like so. of these, another row of these, and then another row of these. Um, then want more of these. More of these. left a 4x4, four four. fuck you know. <sighs> okay. And now I can put them in. So. All 
All right, better idea. Save some space. I wish I had a better pickaxe. And we can make. I suppose I can make an iron one now. I don't want to use the the diamond one. Though. I need to save that. Yep, I've got a, a bucket of lava. I made a, an iron bucket. Do I have cobblestone? I do. Uh, but I do need more. Right. So, the new plan is... I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to do my best to make things look good. So, what I'm thinking is rather than have this sequential step all the way round it, what if I just have a wall here? Like so. I that way I can have it one wider out and have a three wide corridor out here because the one is just is too narrow, especially if I have a wall like so, which means all of this is now bloody ruined because I've changed it by one block. Plus side is I will have an inside I can work with to do the uh, the organization. And it means that I don't lose a load of space. Actually this should still be cobblestone. I'm just gonna leave that there for now. Okay. If I have a two wide staircase going up here, like so, I can keep. Um, it needs to go up one more, doesn't it? Like so. So this will be the new floor level. And because it'll be half blocks, no risk of spawning monsters. My knee is bleeding. Ugh. Sorry, my knee was itchy and then I noticed that it was wet. Sorry. <laughs> um, uh, but it does leave this open for statues along there and along here and stuff. So I, I'll leave those spaces free for statues. <coughs> what the fuck was that noise? Apparently when I lost one of my bonus hearts, uh, I grunted like a lost soul. Alright, I'll just finish getting rid of all of these and then I know where I am. Alright, so this will come up. Uh, let's have this coming up here. Let's have a wall along here. Slightly higher on this side because it's going up to... Oh damn, it's gone too high. Yeah. 
like so. So, you come up here, and right, this is yeah, this is the top here. So, this entire top plateau will be free from spawning risk. Although, to make it a little bit prettier, I will actually put this along here. And then I can alternate statue and torch. Although I do need more. So, do I have more? I do not, but I've got plenty of stone. This needs to be one higher. so. And then that alternates, like so. Is that thing I just did along here? I'm undoing it. And I need more torches. There a quicker way to make charcoal now? Yeah, logs. Although I've, I've still got plenty of these, I think. Eight, ten? I don't know, as many as I thought. Alright, it's fine, I've got plenty of sticks now. Right. Like so. So now I need to fit as many as I can in this area. So if I have that over the top and a two wide doorway underneath. Like so. So this is how I get into the under section. Are those needed? I think those two are needed, yeah. It looks it does look a bit castly. Sadly there isn't a whole lot I can do with the materials I've got. I've got wood and stone. Your cobble farm is in another castle. <laughs> okay, so now that I know this is the height I need. So this bit needs to be free because it's got the, the entrance. I suppose I can move the entrance over a bit. It doesn't need to be that convenient, logically. Uh, where is my output going to be? If I have that here... can still open it like so I can open it but have it blocked off like that um this is where the pipe comes in literally Aaron's feel for the aesthetics is going to make this series twice as long. <laughs> it needs to look pretty. I, it's like, I, uh, yeah, it's like when I saw, because uh, I, I never watched any of the videos on Far Wind. Sorry, um, what was it called? What was the mod pack called? 
Stranded? I don't remember what the mod pack was called. Uh, Forever Stranded, something like that. I never watched any other series on that, or videos on that, but I did catch glimpses of thumbnails and, out of curiosity, like, had a look to sort of see, it could have been Forever Stranded, see how their setup compared to mine. And a common thing I saw was just massive cobblestone walls keeping out the enemy, and it's like, I'm really glad I didn't do that. Definitely not feeling superior or anything. Right, um... Did it again. Okay. So the first one's going to be here. Oh, Garen is a damn soul. Definitely. Okay, so that goes there. No, let's not place these yet. That would be silly, Garen. That would be very silly. Probably a good idea to keep the torches raised. I assume it's any damage I take, because stabbing myself made a gas noise. I assume that was because of the stabbing myself, but it's possible that that's just a random noise, damage noise I take. I, I'm going to try and do it my way, Pisces. I appreciate the help, but I'm going to try and do it my way. Uh... Wow. Wow. I'm not even going to dignify that. Right, I need to have these as this, because otherwise there's a chance it will screw with them. So, here's how it'll work. I have the lava in the middle. And then I'll have the four around it. And then I just sort of take this out. <sighs> so now I just need to get the ranges on stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I place that on the end, and we see how far the range is if this is one above. It won't turn to obsidian because the water is going to be deposited out here, because I, I tested this. The lava will flow, but the water defaults to flowing downwards. So as long as there is that empty block below, it will the water will flow downwards instead of flooding across. I will prove it. So I've got water flowing here. Doubt gets broken. And the water does not flow into the uh, uh, so that gets broken oh well it does it didn't when I tested it if you're smug Pisces I swear to god I will tear down your statue That didn't happen when I tested it. So what changed? Hmm. 
Yeah, I think it might be the block underneath. Did I just put that in there? No, I didn't. Yeah, I think it might be the block underneath the... Uh... Oh, you completed the community challenge. Awesome. Why did I jump down here before picking up the bloody... Hmm. Yeah, maybe it's these blocks. Let's go grab another bucket of water. Ignore my demon screams. So now if I break that, it happened again. This didn't happen when I tested it. I tested this. Fuck's sake. So let's test the other variable. It's possible that it was the lack of block underneath. Serious, I'm serious that if you're smug, I will remove your statue. Uh, no, wrong one. Oh, I can't recognize this stuff from underneath. I can't fucking see what I'm looking at here. Put a full pillar down the middle. I'm not sure I understand what you mean. Right. L let me just... So I had... That's what I had for the test. I had the thingy there, and I had four things of water. And I had the water underneath as well, gone. Like, if I get rid of that... Maybe that's the difference. I think that's the difference, because it was contained. Oh, pissed I'm going to do that. Yeah, okay, it's because it was contained. That's the variable that I didn't account for. <sighs> I don't quite know what to do. I never make cobblestone gen, so I'm completely out of my element here. Like I said, I always use the cheaty ones, like the uh, the utilities block breaker or something like that. Something that doesn't require the actual setup, in the same way that I never make redstone torches. do it as compact then, can I? Piss. Ah. 
Tag. Right. If I have the water at that end... Like so. So it flows into a moat. Two lava crosses and they share one water on each side. I feel like doing it in a big line like this is going to screw up again, isn't it? Hmm. All right, let's try a two by two. Fine, I'll have a look at what you did. I was trying to avoid having to tab out of a stream to have a look at a picture, you see. Let's have a look then. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's too big. Oh, maybe not. It's just really inefficient. Yeah, that's that's really inefficient, I'm afraid. Space wise. You've got a load of wasted space with the water. The other thing is I can't sort of show your picture on the stream. No, the cobblestone needs to be within five blocks of the tree. All right, I'm going to try making a two by two. One water, four lava. Wouldn't that have the... Oh, no, that won't have the same problem. That could work. I know the lava doesn't. That's what we just said. Sorry, I'm getting frustrated because I'm double-guessing myself and I'm getting pissed off about this. But they're not working. But they're not being a simpler bloody way to do this. Alright, I'm going to try... Try this. I don't think it'll be this simple, but right, one water in the middle. What happens if I break this? 
Yeah. Yeah, that won't work. That's just going to create two obsidian at once. Try raising the water. I don't know if that will actually create obsidian. Uh, sorry, a cobblestone. That works. That does work. Okay, we may have just found another way to make it more efficient. Hey. Stop screaming. How many levels can it do? Because if it can do multiple levels at once, then I can have a pillar of water feeding into... Uh, multiple levels of, of gen. to hold shift so that that thing does its work. Oh, God, this has been a freaking chore, hasn't it? Mm. Is, does it only have a range of two? That's not very good. Ah, oh, screw I can't be bloody bothered to wait for this. I'm going to have to Google this one as well. No, no, no information about this one. Uh, what's new with people? <laughs> Desperate to distract myself from from my frustrations. Hey. Stop it. Uh, right. So I now have a four thing generator that will teleport the blocks out. Okay, well it does do at least two height. I need it to do three ideally because then I can put it on this height and it will do the one, uh, if I put it on this side, it'll do like, sorry, this side, it'll do the one below it, that, uh, and then a theoretical second layer above it, and then I can double the productivity. Also, is it going to pop off the torch? Um... then if I put that there, it won't spill out. Uh, 
you only need to fill two corners with lava because then you because uh, you could have wells in the other two I'm not sure I understand what you mean again ah, this is so frustrating just hurry up and do your bloody work would you I'm not, look, I'm, I'm not tapping out and having a look at anything else in the bloody, I'm sorry, I'm getting really frustrated. I'm not tapping out and looking at anything else in the light, in the, the picture gallery. I'm just going to do it. This I'm so sick of doing this. I hate cobble gems. They are the worst fucking part of this game. Cobble gems and redstone circuitry. And it, it, it gets me. It gets me in the wrong way. I'm fine. I'm just going to do it as this. It's, it's fine. I'm fine. How are you? Moving on. Right. Fuck doing this with the second level. I'm just putting this in here. There. Ugh, fuck me. Right. I know you're just trying to be helpful. I'm sorry. I'm not actually angry. I'm not having a go at you. It sounds like I'm having a go at you, but I'm just... This is the... This is the anxiousness of... It's not going right. And it's just... it. I do apologise. I'm not having a go at you. I'm honestly not. I really appreciate your help. This is the, the bit that annoys me about tech support. Like, I was trying to play... Uh, a game with uh, 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 Jason yesterday. He's just got some new VR stuff and he wanted to try it out on Phasmophobia. So we, we went into a game of Phasmophobia, but because it was bugging out, he was just stood there in silence for 10, 15 minutes trying to work it out. Okay, it does do one above as well, that's good. Trying to work out how to get it to work. Meanwhile, me and two other people were just stood in this lobby, waiting, watching him stand there, occasionally move. And it wasn't Jason's fault, not at all, but it was making me angry. <laughs> because it was, it's that feeling of just, nothing is working. And it was making me so angry. Again, not at Jason, and in the same way, I'm not angry at you, I'm not angry at anything, I'm not even angry at the game, it was just that feeling of nothing is working, and it is pissing me off. I put away all my fucking blocks, because I'm not paying attention, because I'm just, I'm just frustrated. <laughs> I'm going to chew my own face off at this rate. Right. And now I'm hungry. Okay, right. I'm just going to get this set up, and I'm going to go do something else, and then I'm going to come back to it. I don't even have the fun. I put it all away. I just wandered over here and put it all in a fucking box, like a knob. What am I doing? I just want to get this sorted, and then I can just leave it to do it. Even if it's not... Maximum efficiency, maximum speed, I can just leave it to do its own little shit. Doesn't matter at that point. <coughs> Shut up. Right. So. If that goes at that level, it's doing one below it. So I need the tray on there. I need some ancient cobblestone. I think I still have some. Oh, my posture is terrible. Ugh. I do. Okay. Mm. There. So now that should only break that. Drops it out the bottom into this hopper. The hopper
How did I do this before? Oh yeah, now I remember. Hopper last, yeah. Fucking pipes. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think it's finally going to work now. <laughs> I'm fine. It's a magic f fertilizer. There. Just checking. Just checking that nothing had broken. So does that mean I've got some ancient cobblestone in here? Two and a half hours. <laughs> I've done nothing. I've done nothing but this. Now I can put on a second layer because the cobble, the, sorry, the lava is encased in a one by one. The water can go up as tall as I want it to. So I'm going to put on a second layer of this. That needs to stay where it is. Hello, Victor. Okay. Right. So how do I do this without fucking everything? Yeah, I saw your message, Victor. Okay. Right. I need four more buckets of lava. Four more buckets of lava, right. Four more buckets of lava. Yeah, Victor. the cobblestone. I don't have any cobblestone left, and if I place that... Okay, well it's good to know it does break it at this height. I was genuinely worried it might not. Right. 
Okay. Uh, I need another layer, don't I? of the four corners, that on top of those, and then finally, that. And if I've done everything, oh, I've, if I've done everything correctly, except put the lava in the holes, you knob. <laughs> I can't even run now. I'm not going to jump off there. That would be silly. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. You're doing well, Garen. You're doing well. You've built a decently pretty looking building considering the absolute fucking shambles going on within it. Okay. Sorted. Finally. Finally. <laughs> okay. Right. Now step back and look at your work. So, the way this works is I have two layers of lava generation. Uh, two layers of cobblestone generation. They are turned into ancient cobblestone by this hourglass of nostalgia. This thing, the breaking tree, is set to break only ancient cobblestone within range. Oh, it seems it has a range of three. Um, Good, because otherwise it wouldn't be able to reach the ones on the far side. Um, so, I'm hoping it can actually reach them. I oh, know, I suppose the furthest one away is uh, directly three blocks away, which we know it might not be able to. If that one turns into ancient cobblestone, okay, good, it can reach, definitely can reach. So, this thing can reach the entire two layers of this generator. It turns the cobblestone into ancient cobblestone, which this thing then breaks, deposits out the bottom, which then gets taken round into a chest. So, I have spent the last, like, freaking hour and a half building a ancient cobblestone generator. And that wood still hasn't burned. Just putting that out there. So, um, that it's just turned something. So when I go downstairs, there will now be four ancient cobblestone in this box. And yeah, that's why I need to have as many of these as possible because it is so freaking slow. So that's now five. Each of these ancient cobblestone I still need to throw into a fire, which I can do a stack at a time, so that's not a problem. And that will then break into uh, that will then produce geodes, which I can I mean theoretically I could remove a step. If I was feeling adventurous, I could have the ancient cobblestone drop out into lava, which would then I then have some sort of collector or something that will then suck up the geodes only and then output geodes and skip a step. I could get it to do that. There is space underneath. I don't know how to have a collector 
I suppose I could use the tray on a collector as well. That's probably worth testing. I've got time, I can test that. Yes, that's exactly what I want to do. I want to build a second one of these on this side and then get another couple maybe. So I want to have as many of these as possible. I've got four hours, hourglasses of nostalgia. I need one per, uh, per breaker block. But now I'm going to see if I can remove the step of having to chuck the stuff into the lava. But first, I'm hungry. I'm also hungry in real life, but I am going to have to wait in real life for about half an hour. And then I'm going to go cry into a pizza. So, uh, I need, what do I need? I need, a, I need the collector I have. I also need another tray. And I need a geode. So I'm going to have to make a geode. Nope. Uh, pepperoni pizza. Because my the pizzas I have at home are, are boring. Uh, shit, I'm going to need a redstone clock. Tell me there's an automated redstone clock. Tell me there's an automated redstone clock. Please don't make me build one. What was it I was just saying? The two worst things in this are redstone and cobble gens. Hey, you know what I need? I need a redstone clock for my cobble gen. Oh, you absolute bastard game. <laughs> no. no. Okay. I mean, that might work. I doubt it. Don't think there is actually time in hell. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know I'd have to do this. Oh, I do, don't I? I do have to do that. I, I, I was, I'm so tempted to just throw myself into lava now. I cannot believe that. Ah, oh, pissing hell. Is there anything in the book? No. No, there is not. There is nothing I can do. Well, let me let me test the collector. Because if the collector doesn't work, it's all moot anyway. But if the collector works, then I'd feel obligated to do it. Trigger it for the test. I'm 
I am holding two levers. Whatever. Alright. Does it work with anything? Okay. It can't be... It doesn't look like it can actually be whitelisted anyway. What about if it's on the back? <sighs> gravity and setter blocks. Oh, well, I could do that with a gravity block. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll not do it with this because it's a faff and it requires a redstone thing. Whereas a gravity block, I don't believe does. Gravity, 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 nope. Gravity, 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 gravity. Okay, so I could, I can do this with a gravity block. Uh, I don't believe vacuum hoppers are in this. They are not. There's ender hopper. It's an ender hopper. <sighs> How do I make an ender hopper? An unstable ender pearl? Wither dust? How the hell do I get wither dust? From a wither skeleton, of course. Okay. Well, that would be a way to do it. The a filtered um, a filtered ender hopper would solve the problem. Uh, oh yeah, maybe not. Maybe it can't be. Uh, if I can, a filtered ender hopper would do the trick. If not, a gravity thing may work, although it doesn't, I don't think it picks them up, so it might need a gravity thing with a filter connected to a collector or some shit. I, I don't know. Maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just chuck it in every so often. But that is still a phenomenally slow rate because it's terrible. You know, if, if I could, if I had this wouldn't be a problem. None of this would be a bloody problem if I could place blocks. Because then I could just have, like, two things of block places. Just placing tons of them. You, I'm not sure you can see my hand. Uh, yeah, I could just have two, uh, uh, two, like, rows of places surrounding... Rows of places surrounding the hourglass of nostalgia. Placing them. Uh, getting... Uh transformed by that in large numbers rather than freaking eight at a time and then getting broken by that when they transform that would be fine if I can place blocks which I don't think I can so I as far as I know have no other choice this is my only choice I think as soon as I discover there is a block placer in this pack, I will be switching, I'll be breaking this entire freaking system down and building a better one that isn't terrible. Maybe I'll keep this just as... The thing is, it's not avoiding a minimal task, it's avoiding a minimal task that I will have to do a thousand times. Because I have to create a geode for every single bit of iron every single bit of redstone that I can get. So, like, that's all I have. And that's from, like, frickin', pff, that That's most of last session's progress. And a bit from today. So, it's so slow. That is like a stack of stuff. And that's all I have to show for it. If this was a dust generator, I'd have, like, ten times that by now, because that could be done better and this could be done better if I could place blocks but because the cobblestone needs to be placed before it can be transformed it's a, it's a case of you place it you wait you pick it up again and it's the the waiting you know if if the things worked actually that's a good point maybe I can speed this bugger up
by placing multiple. That could work, because presumably they all have individual ticks. Oh shit, I don't know what height I'm supposed to be at. This one? that level and the one above it. <coughs> Shush. There. So, theoretically, that should now be four times the speed. Sounds like it's going quicker already. But again, this only really works when I'm holding the shift because it's in so such small numbers I have to hold the shift basically constantly for it to get anything. So the larger number I can do this with, the better, because then I don't need to hold shift in order to have that constant ticking over. It's like the, uh, the cobblestone plants, you know? Uh, when I'm holding shift, it produces, them con produces cobblestone constantly. And again, if I had a way to place blocks, then I could have the cobblestone placer with some sort of vacuum hopper placing blocks like that, but I can't. Or if I could do it in a machine. Sorry, my nose is really bloody itchy for some reason. Mm. If I could have it so that it did it in a machine, again, I could just have a vacuum hopper collecting it off the, um, the cobblestone plants. It puts it through. Easy peasy. But because it needs to be placed, then wait, then pick it up again, that slows it all down so much that it makes it a massive ball ache. <sighs> anyway. That is the progress for today. Any other things I can do before I call it a day? I want to do something else. Something so that that isn't all I've done today. Because... Although it is progress, it feels like I've done nothing. Actually, let's get some more water. Always good to carry around the water. There. Sorted. Literally. I've now sorted the inventory again. Right. What else is on my to-do list? Straw golem. Right, so for that I'm going to need to grow a pumpkin. I don't know where to grow a pumpkin. I assume I have pumpkin seeds, flax, one pumpkin seed, okay. I'm just gonna grow it here. Grow! Grow! Keep growing. Keep growing. Don't stop. Don't stop till you grow it up. Go on. Ah, <laughs> Pisces. <laughs> Screw that. No. No. Uh, I should be able to do a uh, pumpkin farm with a straw golem, theoretically. But I'm guessing the reason I need a gravity block for that is that the straw golem only breaks them and he doesn't collect anything or, or deposit anything. That's how I'm guessing he works.
Uh, right. Oh, my nose is so... I think it's stress itches. <sighs> Grow, damn it. There's a block here. Yeah, look, I'll make some more space for you. Thank you. Okay. Right. Oh my god, that's not what I thought it would look like. I should name him. Hey. hey. I don't think your work's quite done yet. You missed a few. Keep working. Keep working. He's made the same thing. Um... I see, I'm just going to do straw, man. Okay, well. He's going to have basically infinite work. Hello, Forgotten Fame. Yes, this is the Volcano Block mod pack. Um, hmm. cough. Uh, I'm going to call him. Hmm, what can I call him? Okay, little there. You better not die now. It looks like he won't drown in a inch of water. I imagine I'm gonna get more and I'll be open to other names for those, but for now, we've only got five minutes left. I think he's trying to swim across to the other ones but doesn't know how to swim. He may be trapped in there forever. Can he come? Can he climb back out? No, no, he cannot. There's stuff here for you, sackcloth. Can I nudge him out? Get back to work. He's only got half a heart. I can't punch him once. You're puny, Sackcloth. You're puny. I look down on you and laugh. Yeah, you. I'm talking about you. Is it mean to be that abusive to my child? Let's keep working. See, the, uh, he'd be, be, be a perfect combo with... Wait, what's the problem? Oh, there's a spawn egg for it. Alright, um... I 
guess I'll make another. What are you doing? Oh, he broke my crafting. Oh, whatever. Just do your work, please. Oh, you massive twat. Can't believe he just blew that up. <laughs> Don't look at me like, are you proud of me, Daddy? No, you just blew up all my bloody expensive crops. <sighs> my God. Yeah, I'll build him fences later and I'll... <sighs> Can't believe this. I'll build him some expensive. Sorry, build him a, uh, a expensive. <laughs> I'm not going to build you anything expensive. I'm just thinking about the seeds still. Um, I'll build him some fences next time. I'll try and find a way. Like if I can find a way to get a, a with a skeleton, maybe out of sequence, that'd be really useful. It is a hell biome. It depends if this is the overworld because there is a particular thing with. Uh, with the skeletons that they only spawn in certain circumstances, it doesn't always work, but I don't know. If there is a way for me to get... Hello? I take you don't harvest pumpkins then? Or would that be weird for you? Yeah, you. Oh, well, at least I'm not alone in hell anymore. Right, place that to get one of those. And I get a second one. So I'm going to have three. And I'm going to have them in their own little pens. Can you shear him? You can shear a snowman? I'm not sure I want to shear him. Don't know what I'd get. Oh well. He can't drown, so... I don't think he's going to wander so far that he falls into the lava and burns to death. But if he does, then it'll be a good lesson for him, won't it? Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Right. He doesn't carry anything. He just breaks shit. Like a child. Don't you, sackcloth. Oh, my God. I've got the new thumbnail, haven't I? Uh, let's just go over here. Shit, what's the... What's the... the... No, it's not F3. What's the button for just... Is it F5? Yes, I... I completely forgot it seconds after I bloody did it. Uh, like that. That's going to be the new thumbnail. Okay, sackcloth. Hey, sackcloth. I've got two things to show you. First of all, this is Daddy's Geo Generator. Do you like it? Answer me. Answer me! Okay, fine. If you're going to be like that, I'll show you the second thing. This is the infinite expanse of hell. You know, I'd say that you will inherit this one day, but you won't, because if you displease me, you will burn forever. Well, I mean, for you, it'll be forever. You know, one of those... 
this is the first day of the rest of your life except it'll be this is you know pain until the rest of your life in about five seconds so you know behave um, and all of this this is what you do that's Pisces that's Mimic that is Ace Wolf and that is Kinji, I think. Kenji? Kinji? Apologies. I've sort of forgotten his, his name. Um, so, this. That's Daddy, isn't it? Isn't it? Okay. I'm going to put you down now. No, not in that way. Ugh. There you go. I'll play with you next time, okay? I'm going to leave it there. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, Sackcloth's going to get some uh, a, a brother and sister next time. And I'll give them some pens. I'm probably going to leave Sackcloth wandering around and I'll name the others and put them in pens. And, uh, yeah. That'll be what we deal with. So, thank you very much for watching. This is Volcano Block. Oh god, I'm going to have to pull one up. Where are you going? Stay in the inner ring. They're always wandering off on you. You can't take your eyes off them for a second because they'll just run off into the lava and die because they were like, Oh, Daddy Betty looks so fun. Shush. Right. Don't forget to donate blood. Right. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, next Tuesday. If you haven't, if you missed the others, I forgot to say this at the beginning. If you missed the other two episodes of this, they're available as VODs on my YouTube channel linked below the Twitch. Um, he's wandering outside the bloody freaking... I'm just going to hold you for the rest of this, okay? So. <sighs> Catch you later. From me and Sackcloth. Say goodbye, Sackcloth. Sackcloth. Say goodbye. Fine. Disappointments, aren't they? Bye-bye.